Hey everybody, today my son's gonna try to make a dessert pizza. He loves cinnamon rolls, so today he's gonna make a cinnamon bun pizza in the rock box oven. So this is gonna be dessert in a pinch. So we went to the store and we bought a frozen dough. It's been falling out room temperature outside, so it's ready to go. This is a great dough. I've used it before for pizzas. There's Tico, he's excited about it also. So we're gonna use this store-bought frozen dough and we're gonna make cinnamon bun pizza, dessert pizza. Let's get started. First thing he's gonna do, he's gonna get a little flour out on his bench. He's gonna put a little flour on his fingers. Put a little flour on the dough so it doesn't get too sticky. And then these are actually a little bit bigger than what the rock box usually needs. I mean, if you make a full pizza, this will make about a 16 inch pizza. So he's gonna use a bench scraper, actually cut it in half. We're gonna make two individual pizzas out of it. So he'll make an exact cut right down the middle. Very easy. Again, you don't wanna go crazy, just a nice firm cut. He's gonna set one of the dough balls aside and then he's gonna start forming the pizza, about 11 inch pizza out of that first dough ball. This, this is his first time. He's having fun trying to stretch it. it. Wasn't quite as easy as he thought. Okay, we didn't quite get an exact circle on this one. We have more of a kind of a oval shape but it's gonna work. So now he's gonna put a little bit of flour on the peel so we can slide it on. Have it already. So now that's good. Now we're gonna put the base. We put some butter, brown sugar, and cinnamon in this bowl and we microwaved it, that liquid. So he's gonna brush that on instead of a sauce. That's gonna be the base. It might be easier. I mean, some the brush, it's kind of thickened up a little bit so we may have to pour a little bit on. There we go, we'll brush that on. Again, we just want a nice light all the way around, leave a little bit of edge on the crust there. Get a, try to get it as even as possible. And ideally, you want it a little more liquidy. It's kind of set up a little bit while we've been waiting. Yeah, we decide we're gonna kind of brush it all the way out to the edges too, because the dough's gonna get nice and poofy. So it's better to have the dough a little sweeter too. One thing you don't wanna have is you don't want a lot sitting in the middle. So that kind of right here, we're gonna thin that out a little bit and just make sure it's a nice even all the way across the pizza so there's not any spot that's really liquidy. We made the decision to add a few little chocolate chips to it also. So we're gonna spread a few of those out kind of evenly. Then we're gonna put it in the oven. So we're curious to see how these melt or and or burn, etc. So this will be a, an experiment. Again, we don't have a recipe. We're just kind of winging this one to see how it turns out. He's gonna double check, make sure there's a little flour on the peel. All right, yeah. One thing you always make sure the peel is completely dry, nothing stuck on it, and make sure your hands are dry too. He's gonna to gently pull the, the dessert pizza up onto the peel. So grab it on the edge and just slide it up. There we go. And then he's gonna kind of, you kind of shape it up again, kind of pull it, split it out a little bit sometimes. After the dough rests a little bit, it easier. Okay, perfect. All right, I'm gonna help him load it in there just so we don't have any issues. We'll see ya. Here goes peel cam. Here we go, oven's ready. It's at about 400 degrees Celsius. Ooh, it's kinda looking good. It's got very liquidy. We're gonna see, this might make a huge mess. We'll see. I'm curious to see how this all turns out. Here. About 10 seconds in, it started puffing up. I thought it was getting liquidy, but it's kind of caramelized. It actually smells delicious. So we're gonna flip it, try to put it right back in. I think it's all just caramelized. I can smell the caramelized sugar and cinnamon. We're gonna put it back in just for another minute or so. That's looking good. We'll do it another probably eight seconds. See how it's all bubbling up? It looks like it's liquid, but it's actually caramelizing. It smells delicious. I'll let it puff up here for a second. Let me just double check. Oh, look at that. Can you see that? That smells delicious. We'll put it in just for another second or so. All right. We're going to burn it. One more second. And it's good. I think we'll count to five. Three, two, one. I think that is perfect. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That looks delicious. Let's set it over on the cutting board. 
Boom. That looks perfect. Now let's get the icing. Okay, now we're gonna put the cinnamon bun icing. So we have a whole bowl of homemade icing that he made with cream and powdered sugar. So he's gonna drizzle that on top of it. There we go. Look at that. He's gonna drizzle that. He's gonna spread a little bit closer to the side of the crust too to make sure the crust is nice and gooey and delicious too all around the edges almost all the way to the edge there we go that is gonna be good he's starting to drool i can see him he wants to eat this bad boy that's probably good right there that's gonna be super messy all right we're gonna let that sit for a little while because it's about 150 degrees let it sit it's gonna be a cinnamon bun pizza okay, we're gonna cut into this one this is the cinnamon bun pizza Ooh, very thick. All right, let's see how it is. I'm gonna spare you guys from having to watch me eat it, but I'm gonna stick it in my mouth. That's delicious. Very good. The chocolate all melted, the cinnamon, the icing, very good.